This is video four in a series on Vim, uh, and each week I'm just going over some uh, basic stuff for people who are slightly familiar with Vim but are looking to expand their their knowledge on it. Today we're going to talk about auto completion. There's a lot of plugins for different types of auto completion. Vim, Vim does do auto completion by default. Um, you know, some of these plugins will add more functionality to it, but uh, Vim out of the box again does auto completions, and a lot of people may not realize that. So, uh, and it does different types of auto completion. Today we're going to be looking at auto completing based on stuff you've typed in the file already. So let's say we were typing some sort of code. So I'm just going to create a function, call it test, and then here and here we can just say print f hello whoops world, and then I can close that function. Now that anything that's already been typed in this file, I can go ahead and I can start auto-completing those things that I'm typing. So, for example, let's say I want to create another function, I can type in fun and I can hit control n and it auto-completed for me. Uh, and uh, if I go ahead and start typing t, I can hit, since there's only one word starting with t at this point, I can say auto-complete test, but we'll call this test function and at this point I can add in again at control I can hit P control N and it auto completed so far where auto completing based on stuff that was only one of in the past but now we have two things to start with tests so let's say I can I want to run one of these functions the test function <laughs> that's confusing this test function not this test function um, so I want to run this this function. I can type in T E and I can hit Control N and you can see it gives you a list. And I can uh, hit Control N again and again going through the list. Or of course I can use my arrow keys and then pick one. Oh, I guess Control. I'm used to hitting Control N. So Control N until you get to the one you want and then you can continue typing. And so that will, again, autocomplete anything you've typed previously in your files. So if I have um, Tom, Tim, um, Thomas, uh, Timmy, now I can hit uh, type T and hit Control N, and I get a full list of things that have previously typed, and I can pick the one from that list. And of course, if I type in TH, there's only one, so it just automatically completes those. Um, so that is very basic, uh, and, and there's more functionality to Vim's built-in auto-completion without plugins that we're going to get more into in future weeks. So again, this is part of a series. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. Each week I'm going to be putting out a new uh, Vim video on Wednesday. So keep on watching, subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, those things help me out greatly. If you have a few extra bucks and you want to support me financially, you can support me through patreon.com forward slash melix1000. There's a link in the description to that. There you can support me with as little as a dollar a month. Or uh, if you want to do a one-time su uh, support, I do have a PayPal account. There's a link to that at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link to that in the description as well. Great place to search through all my videos from both my channels. Um, but I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.